Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jonathan, and welcome back to Money Talks, where we want to offer you financial information and meet you where you are financially so that you can stick to your budget, manage to pay off your debt, and begin to save on your path to building wealth. Today, guys, I want to talk to you about that zero-cost index fund. What's the choice with it? If this is your first time joining me here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today, guys, there's so many different options and with everything that's gone in the market, more awareness is coming to you about index funds, stocks, bonds, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, all these different sectors. But today focus um, a little bit more on the index fund because you know I'm partial to that and that's what I use. But the zero cost index fund, is that a good value? Well, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> it's a very economical value in the fact that, hey, you don't pay any fees for it and you can put your money in it tracks the S&P 500. But when we look at investments and when we look at what's going to be the long term benefit, is this the best route to go? Even if you're going to do an index fund, why would I go with a zero cost index fund and why would I utilize just the normal total stock market index fund, one that's not zero cost. Maybe there's a, a small fee because typically index funds, that's they're very economical. Well, I would encourage you to really look at the performance over the last 10 to 50 years on both of them. Now, you know, personally speaking, I use Fidelity and I, one of the reasons why I use Fidelity index funds is because number one, it was their performance. When I looked at their performance for the total stock market index fund and S&P 500 versus Vanguard and Charles Schwab, who are other leaders in this space, they, Fidelity, had the higher performance historically. So obviously, I want to try to get the most bang for my bet. The second reason is I also looked at the fact that, hey, there's no account minimums with Fidelity. And then third, obviously, which if you follow anyone who talks about Fidelity Index Fund, you know their customer service is uh, top rated and they typically treat you the same no matter what level of wealth you're at. So when I was looking at this zero cost index fund, some people have it and some people don't, but it can be a good beginner vehicle. And when you're thinking about it, it's one of those things that if you're really, really new to investing and you know you want to go the route of the index fund, but you don't quite understand everything yet and you don't understand how the fees work and you don't understand what is my true value, the beginner, the zero cost index fund is a great measure to start with because literally you're putting your money in and you're not having to pay anything for that. And you're also going to get a great return based off what the stock market does. But again, historically, I've been seeing eight, seven, eight, nine percent on those zero cost index funds. And the total stock market index fund usually on average is 13 to 15 percent. So and you're paying a slight less, but it's all about you building your comfort level with investing and with investing in this vehicle. And the more you invest in it or when you start to invest in it, you'll start to learn and notice if you actually look at your account, not hawking it to see the highs and lows, but actually learning what's in the account. How does it move? How does it react to different things in the market? That should help you grow your level of comfort to begin to start to migrate over. So realize what you typically start with from an investment standpoint in index funds or mutual funds or however, you typically may grow just from a more strategic standpoint and a risk, man man risk management standpoint as you grow your wealth. So just understand this can be a slight temporary you're going to still invest for a long haul but you may change the type of investment you have because what benefits you at again one thousand ten thousand twenty thousand may not help you at a hundred thousand two hundred thousand even a million level of wealth so i would encourage you when you're looking at these zero cost index funds they are good but one thing you should know is that their performance is slightly lower than the it's total stock market index fund that does have a fee. And when you look at the fee, the fee is typically 0.01%. It's negligible when you actually do the math of what you're gaining and what your potential for growth is versus if you were just at the zero cost index fund. The other thing you should think about is investing always usually comes down to a profile. And I, I caution myself when go going down that road because I truly believe if you, if everyone is 
educated to the point where they understand how investments work, everyone has the opportunity to be fully aggressive. Now your comfort level is typically going to be built off what other things you have in your life. So with this investment, you have to understand, prepare yourself for it by making sure you have enough cash on hand so that you can ride that way. And the longer you ride it, the better off it'll be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't had a moment and you're looking at all the different platforms to invest in Scott, drop down the link below. Weeble is giving away two free stocks when you open an account on the platform and deposit $100. You can use my link in the description below. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.